Tower of Dread is another one of those Tower of Hell games. I don't really know why there's loads of the same games, but we're going to be checking out this one, see if it's easy, and see if I can actually make it to the top. Welcome to Tower of Dread. Okay, we got a few other people in here. I'm not entirely sure how much people can get in, but here we are. It looks quite similar to Tower of... Yeah, it definitely looks quite similar to Tower of Hell. Ready, and then there's a zero. I'm confused why, what this means, but I'm... I guess we just, oh, I just jumped off the, what, what are we supposed to do? Is, is the game broken or something? That, there's like, there's nothing here. I, I think the game is broken or something. Just joined a different server to see if it was just the server, and it definitely was that server. It just hadn't loaded in. So we have just about four minutes here to try to make it through, okay, to see if we can make it up to the top. So it looks like when you actually take damage, you don't just straight away die, which is good for me. I don't know if you like it like that, but I definitely do, because, oh, you can't, wait, do you get stamina in this game or something? What, what was that? Like, oh, players, you can also make the players invisible as well. I'm just, like, figuring this out straight away. I've never really played this before, though it is exactly like the Tower of Hell, basically, just with a different name, a little bit of a different design down the bottom, but it's basically the same concept, basically the same idea. I don't know why I couldn't really jump there. Maybe it was because of them, them things just getting in the way. Alright, okay, you see, there's nothing here, unless it was that that's just, like, getting me not being um, being able to jump, I don't know. Alright, so we made it for, past the first stage, we got this, which is, whoa, okay, I didn't know what was going to happen. I knew I was going to get moved, but I didn't know how fast, and I wasn't expecting it to go that f Wasn't expecting it to go that fast. There is a hard mode, but I can't even make it up the top of this. Alright, so I'm back on this yellowy-orange stage, we'll try this again. Oh my god, I always think every time I go through that that I'm actually not gonna... That I'm actually not gonna make it, and then I don't make it. The thing is with this first stage, right, you know how you keep hitting your head on the roof? Yeah, that always happens, and there's like a majority of times where you actually don't make it. It's so annoying, but we'll see if we can do it this time. You see what I mean? I'm gonna keep recording, right? When making these jumps, you're doing great. You can jump normally in that. You don't have stamina, so you don't run out of stamina. And then you hit your head on that little yellowy block. And then you just fall back down again, and it's almost impossible to even make it up to the top because of the way that these are like, I'm assuming they're automatically spawned in every time the timer goes down, just like Tower of Hell, right? They just haven't spawned in like the, the best of ways, you know? Because like it's really hard to get past this first stage if the other stage next to it is literally on top of this little block and you can't really, well, you can make it, it is possible, but, but it's not very possible, so I don't even know what that was. Alright, new tower, let's see if this one's good, round over, okay, and then I'm guessing everyone just gets pushed down to the bottom, alright, classic, make it to the top, so is there like different game modes or something, I actually just joined in between the, the, this round, so I didn't know there was like different modes, alright, well, well this one, oh, oh, so the other server was kind of broken or something, I don't know, here we go, so, get ready, it's a classic mode, we just gotta make it to the top within the, the 7 minute timer, Sounds easy, but if you're being honest, real, it, it's not very easy, as you can see. But we have got like six, seven minutes to actually do this. I mean, if everyone just gets out of the way, I'll be able to see what I'm supposed to be doing. Alright, you can't touch the glowy things. You've also got to actually manage to jump. Alright, let's try that again. I mean, someone's already made it to the top, so we're probably not going to make it. One player's made it to the top, hurry up. Be quiet, I'm, I'm still on the first stage, bro. Alright, here we go. And here, last time, I didn't manage to jump onto the actual block there, but I did this time, the time when the time is going down slower. Alright, then you jump on here. Is this dark green? Dark green stage, kind of hard to see if you're not... If you come from a bright and then you go into the dark, it's quite hard to see. Alright, then you go around here, then you go here. Quite easy, though probably you could have messed up there, if, if I'm being honest. Now we're in the white stage. Do these like disappear? Oh my god, they're disappearing, so you've actually got to hurry up. Bro, are you serious? Do these disappear or is it just me? Okay, I don't know if it's just me, but they were they they seemed to be move like going that where am I supposed to be going from here? Oh what? What am I supposed to jump to that one? What was I supposed to do there? Now where am I? Right? Wait, what were you Oh my god, oh this game. Alright, it's another one of the games where I can't really do it, but we're here anyway for the experience, you know. I might as well, like, try to get to the top, but there's, there's no way I'm going to do it with, like, 30 seconds left, right? So, uh, 
Might as well just jump off here and fail. Wait for the for the next one. Round over. All right. Let's see if I can make it this one on this one. Hopefully I can. Probably won't though. I don't know what you're expecting. I'm trash at hobbies, but we'll see. All right. Get ready, and then it's gonna spawn in. On although on this first level we did, it didn't spawn in. There you go. All right, and then you got this. It's classic again. I've never not been on a classic round, so I don't know what else there is. I feel like there's less stages than the Tower of Hell. Oh my god. There, there definitely feels like a less amount of stages in this game than the Tower of Hell. I mean, not the, but like the normal, you know, the classic, right? I mean, of course, the Tower of Hell has got more stages, but, you know, this one still feels like it's got less stages than the original, alright? But uh, let's not talk about the original, because we're not even in it. Diamonds. I can see why they call it diamonds, but you can just, like, do this. You don't need to, I don't know if this is intentional, but you can just do that. You know, you come, I don't know if, you can definitely not just run across those, but, because it's lasers, but maybe if you just run across those. You know, you're, you're in the way right now. Oh, I couldn't see, because there was a person there, and I fell all the way down to the bottom. That's why you don't do things in first person, people, because you just fall down to the bottom. But it's good that this, uh, oh wait, this isn't a diamond one. Oh my god. Alright, here we go, then across here, if that person actually moved, then maybe I would have been able to see what I was actually supposed to do there, but they literally just stood right in front of me and I could not see nothing, which is not a good thing, alright, but at least we're back to the diamond stage, you know, right here, here, it's not really that hard, I'm gonna let this person go in front a little bit, there we go, so that way I got the, oh my god, move, that way I have the space to see whatever, alright, here's where I was, what am I supposed to do? Alright, you just walk. Okay, I'm not gonna jump because we got whatever this is. And that's where I went wrong last time. I tried to jump and I literally hit this. Which, keep in mind, when you touch these things, it doesn't instant kill you. It it just, like, takes off a little bit of your health. Yeah, a little bit, but still you don't want to because I don't know if the health regens. It probably does, to be honest. But, uh, you know, you still don't want to die, so I'm not gonna risk it. Alright, now we're on messy ropes. These aren't really ropes at all, they're just normal paths. But I guess why they're called messy, because they're like all over the place, you know, that makes sense. Right, so you got here, I'm not doing too bad. I mean, if I can make it at least once, I'm probably not going to make it twice, so this might be the one. As long as I don't fall, uh, we are quite close to the top, I think. Right here, then you got to jump on all of these. Not too hard, though. It's not the easiest, but... Uh, but it's not too hard, and then we go across here, then up here, then I literally cannot see what that is. I'm guessing you, there we go, it's really hard to see, well it's not too hard, because you have got these that really help, like, because they glow up, you know, you know, alright. One player's made it to the top, so you got to hurry up now. Bro, now what am I supposed to do, is this a ladder? It is. Okay, now I just can't see at all. When it's really dark, what are you supposed to do? Wait, I made it! Oh my god, I made it, I made it. I have actually made it to the top. I have actually... I made it to the top, so I... I'm going through, okay? I'm going through. There you go. I'm very sorry, but I made it to the top, so I'm going to show that I've made it to the top. Alright, so there's this stage, or this mode, I should say, called Rush. What do you have to do? Make it to the top of the tower before anyone else does, I think. So you've pretty much got to be the first. I'm not going to be the first. I'm, t I'm telling you now, but I'll give it a go, you know? Uh... Alright, here we go. So it doesn't look too hard, but I'm definitely not going to be the first one. Alright, here we go. You see, like, how are you supposed to be the first one when you were, like, another 20 people playing the game? Also, why did I jump there? Whatever. You see, how are you supposed to make it first if you've got all these people right there? Thank God that you don't take a lot of damage when you hit those little light-up blocks, because otherwise I would have been straight away dead. And I couldn't really see what was going on, because, like I said, there's... 20 other people, so I don't know how you're supposed to make it first, but I'm literally going as fast as I can without jumping. Alright, then here, I mean, what, without jumping, I said I meant without dying. Alright, th there we go. Oh, does it? Oh my god. Whatever. I'm really hoping, like, yeah, the health does definitely go up. Thank god, because otherwise I'd be, like, definitely dead. Alright, I'm, I'm not gonna be first. There, there's, like, no way I'm gonna be first. But maybe I'll be second. No, I'll probably, I probably won't even be second. We'll, we'll see, though. No one's actually managed to make it up to the blue stage. So if I can make it up to the blue stage... 
that'll be pretty good, you know. I've still got to go past like a lot of other stages with loads of other people on, but uh, we'll see how well I do. I mean, the yellow stage is right. Well, it was right there. Wait, one person's made it to the top, but I thought it said be the first person to make it, make it to the top. Well, I'm not gonna make it to the top, but I'm still gonna give it a go. Probably won't make it to the top, to be honest. I mean, it's times two. It can go up to like probably times ten. I don't know what it goes up to, whatever. I have actually died from, like, taking damage from the, the actual blocks that happened off camera literally just a minute ago, and then someone made it to the top. So I was like, well, I might as well say that someone's made it to the top. Right, here we go. So I was trying to do these jumps here, but then I kept getting messed up like that, and then I die. There is no way I'm making it up to the top. I haven't even made it to the yellow stage yet. I don't know how easy the yellow stage is, because like I said, I've never been up there. Probably will never be able to go up there, because I keep making loads of risky jumps and trying to skip loads of parts. But maybe you shouldn't skip. Maybe you should actually play it normally and don't skip. That way you might even get further than if you would have skipped. I don't know. Let's just test that theory out. You do these. These, yeah, you can rush them, but try not to skip it, because because sometimes the game won't let you. Or maybe you do skip, and you won't end up like me. You know, this is kind of easy, so what I'm going to do is, uh, before we end the video, check out the hard mode. Here we go, teleporting, please wait whilst you're being transferred to the 50 people server. Welcome to the Tower of Dread. Here we go. If it will actually let me off this little cutscene, that will be great. I don't know if it will, though, because maybe the game's broken or something, I don't know. Alright, I'm still, still stuck on the 50 player server, so what I think I'm going to do is just leave it there. That will be today's video, if you enjoyed, like it, subscribe if you're new, that was the Tower of Dread, I'll have a link in the description if you want to go ahead and play it for yourself, thank you for watching the, today's video though, hopefully you enjoyed, I'll see you in tomorrow's video, goodbye.